Hello and welcome to everyone. I'm Francesca Gorni and today we will talk about price analysis. We will see a price analysis related to the cost price. First, we select the project in which we want to work. In project and contracts, price list, we will find the items for which the price analysis can be created. We select the item we want to analyze. We also select the price category in which we want to save our analysis. In this case, the cost class. In the analysis panel, it will be possible to load the elementary resources and quantities needed to determine the final cost of the item. It is possible to create the analysis relative to a standard quantity equal to 1 or perform the analysis also for different quantities. Let's see an example. We will analyze the item concrete. Inside the analysis we can type different type of information. The inserted element can be a product and therefore a resource. I can insert a comment, then a series of information related to my measurement. Or I can enter a direct amount. All other types of information refer to a more complex analysis and for now we will not see them. Now we insert a product item. The item can be entered directly by typing a code. A description. A measurement unit. The quantity of product needed to create a unit of finished item and the price. It is also possible to insert a formula. Product items can be also inserted through the help panel on the right. We can select an item from a price list, for example a worker, and drag and drop the item into the analysis panel. Now we can enter a quantity. If the resources are already present in the price list, to select an item, simply open the item code panel and enter the desired code. Or, for a simple research, type the person symbol and then a keyword.
The software will search for all the items contained in the selected word. In this way, it will be possible to load all the resources necessary for the analysis of the article. To enter profits and overheads, it will be possible to act directly on price category. In our example, the analysis was performed on the cost price category. Imagine now that we want to add overheads and business profit to our cost price. We create a new price category that we will call updated cost. Within the new class, it will be possible to specify a code and a percentage value for both overheads and business profits. We duplicate the analysis relating to the cost price category using the copy analysis function. By copying from the cost class to the updated cost class, we can copy only the selected item or all the items included in the price list. Within the analysis of the updated cost price category, the amounts relating to overheads and business profits are now calculated in the overheads and business profits panel. And now you can see the difference between the cost price and the updated cost price that has inside overheads and business profits. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.